Hello guys, happy new year and happy holidays. Today we are going to check probably the most interesting club to manage this year. That's Newcastle United. Club with a big transfer budget. Club with the millions. First, we are going to see some players that you should try to sign. So let's go. So as I said before, you are going to have really incredible transfer budget. 233 million and awesome wage budget 2.5. Yeah, so you will be able to buy some really classy players. And now I will show you my short list. First on that short list is Alexander Isak. He's 21 years old, advanced forward. Fantastic speed, great in the air, great technique, movement. He has all the things that I, I, I need, yeah. And the best thing, guys, is that his potential ability is 166. Current ability 151. Already a classy striker. Important matches 15. Another plus. So this is my first transfer target. We don't have some classy midfielders, so we need one classy and young player, and that's for sure, Giovanni Reina, American advanced playmaker playing for Borussia Dortmund. He can play as a tackle midfielder, he can play in the middle as a Mezala CM, sometimes even as a winger. Uh, check this, natural fitness, fantastic, nice speed, nice technical attributes. The best thing is that his potential is 175. Yeah, and you will be able to buy him for, um, as you see, they accepted my offer of 85 million. 85 million for Giovanni Reina is nothing. Third player on my list is Casemar, French uh, advanced playmaker, incredible passing skills and technical attributes. Check this, vision 16, passing 16, technique 16, first touch 16. And you will be able to get him for 43 million. If you want cheap and really fantastic option, that's Ismail Benasser. He's playing for AC Milan and you, sh you should be able to get him for around 25 million, maybe 28, let's say, yeah. Classy mental attributes, can play as a box-to-box -box mythical, can play as a deep-line playmaker. And this is what we need, I mean, what Newcastle really need, because as I said, uh, they don't have some really nice midfielders. Next transfer target is Serginho Dest. He's 20 years old, playing for Barcelona. Fantastic team, he can cover both sides. So this is why I want to sign him. Plus, he's a really good player. And his price is not that big, between 30 and 38 million. So you should go for Serginho Dest. My opinion is that Newcastle has really weak defense, so we need at least one classy central defender, and that's for sure Jules Kund. He's playing for Sevilla and his price is 18 million, but check this. Unbelievable player, so uh, you should sign him whatever the price is. Actually, he has released close of 80 million, so they will accept this offer. And another good thing, he's interested in joining your club. I have another option for a ball playing defender, and that's Gianluca Mancini. He's 25, playing for Roma, and he's a cheap version. Why? Because uh, you can get him for around 25 million. This is nothing, yeah. Uh, fantastic player, check this, mental, uh, then physical attributes, heading, tackling uh, 14, not that great as the other attribute, but still, a uh, classy central defender, can you imagine Gianluca Mancini and Jules Kunt? Another fantastic option for a central defender and another cheap option, uh, that's Abdu Diallo, he's playing for Paris Saint-Germain and he, you can get him for only 5 million, uh, this is a joke because uh, you, this is going to be your best central defender, uh, absolutely. So guys, this is my first team after only one year of playing with Newcastle. I did a couple of transfers, I still need to do some other things, but I'm really happy with the team at the moment. In attack, uh, the best player, if you ask me, the best transfer actually is Samuel Chukweze. I bought him and he came for 68 million, he was playing for Villarreal. A really classy winger inside forward action on the left, uh, right side. Uh, then I have two players in the middle. Uh, that's Tonali, fantastic Italian deep line playmaker, and Benacer, I, we spoke about him, his uh, two player came for around 25 million, really worth of signing. Almiron as attacking mister, uh, I need better player for this position, that's for sure, Almiron is okay, but he doesn't have quality uh, to be attacking mister, at least in this team he doesn't have quality, and I have classic striker, we spoke about him, that's Alexander Isak, he's going to be really incredible, I'm sure in that. Uh, then on the right side, I bought uh, Hans Kattebor. He was playing for Atalanta. Bought him for 44 million. Big money, but still he's a classy wing back. Left side didn't change anything. That's Luis Jamal Luis and pair of central defenders. I bought Diallo. He's cheap. He came for uh, 5 million. Actually, 4.8. Yeah, nothing. 
and I bought Semedo. I mean, he's okay, he's a bit older, 28, but didn't have money, so I decided to buy uh, Ruben Semedo for 10 million from Olympiakos. On the goal, I still have Dubrovka, who else? And if you are speaking about the beginning of your stay with Newcastle, this is your team. The best player of the current ability, 152, is Saint Maximin. He is really adorable player because his speed is really wow, agility, dribbling, 19, technique. The only problem is if you're using him as a striker, he's going to miss many chances, finishing only 10. Composure is not that brilliant, yeah. Anyway, fantastic player, you should keep him at Newcastle as long as you can. Then we have uh, Colin Wilson with the current ability, 144, fantastic striker. The only problem is that he's 29 years old. Okay, then we have uh, Martin Dubrovka, really nice goalkeeper, yeah. So goalkeepers, uh, goalkeeper is not a problem of Newcastle, his current ability is 141. Uh, then we have Miguel Miron, uh, he can play as a winger, he can play as a tech, he through some nice speed. Current ability 138, then Ryan Fraser, a winger, interesting speed, interesting technical attributes, not that bad player. Then we have one young player, Joe Willock, I like him, uh, he has uh, really nice agility, acceleration, dribbling, uh, I mean he can play as a winger with these attributes, you can make from him really fantastic winger. Then we have uh, Carl Darlow, a sweeper keeper. And here you can check all the players and their current and potential abilities. But let's see the youngest players and their potential. Uh, we have Matty, uh, long stuff, uh, his potential 142. Uh, he's on loan at Aberdeen, okay. Then we have Joe Willock, we spoke about him. His potential ability 155, still can improve a lot. Uh, the other players are not that young, but let's see under 93, under 23 squad, yeah. And then maybe we have one kid, Santiago Munoz, uh, Mexican, advanced forward, potential 142, uh, Rodrigo Wilka, on loan at Doncaster, not bad potential, but he's 22 years old, Bradley Cross, uh, Central Defender, nothing special. And now let's see, under 18 squad, do we have some interesting players there? No, actually, a uh, player with the best potential ability is... Uh, Michael Nadeveni, but his potential is nothing, 129. So if you want to start season with a team that you already have, uh, this would be my first team and I would play in formation 4-2-3-1. An attack, of course, uh, Wilson has advanced forward, behind him is a shadow striker Almiron, yeah. Uh, he's uh, okay if he's going to play as a shadow striker. Uh, then uh, St. Maximin as a left inverted winger attacking duty. Fraser, winger on the right side. Willock, deep line playmaker. Hayden, box to box mister. We have really poor defense. That's Jamal. And we have uh, Fabian. Uh, they are nothing special. They are okay, but really poor defense for the Premier League. Uh, Dan Manquilla is a uh, wing back on the left side, I would use Jamal Lewis, he is better than uh, our right wing back. On the goal, of course, sweeper keeper Dubravka. And at the end, we are going to check team leaders, we see that there are three team leaders, that Jamal, that Charlie and Richie. I don't see them in the first team, so I don't know what to say. Um, you need to find a new team leader, especially because you have a lot of money, and then I'm sure that you will buy some new team leaders. Uh, these three players, uh, maybe Jamal will be in the first team at the beginning, but later I will search for much better central defenders.